YouTube channel. Um, uh, if you're new, please like and subscribe. I promise you, you're going to love the content this side. Um, and if you have been a day one subscriber, thank you so much. Keep on liking, keep on sharing the videos. Tell your friends to come and subscribe, honey, okay? All right, so today's video, as promised, I told you guys that I will be telling you more about uh, the line of work that I do, how you get into it, very easy. Uh, yes, so I am a phlebotomy technician, right? So basically, what is phlebotomy? Okay, I think, yes, let's start there. What is phlebotomy? Ne? Phlebotomy is, when you check it up on Google, it will just give you like a very straightforward answer it's just a, a surgical incision in the vein in order to draw bloods um so there's different reasons why people draw bloods but my company ne, because it's a lab you work i work at a lab we draw bloods for diagnostic purposes right i don't know what other reasons why people draw bloods but maybe there is i don't know but we do it for diagnostic purposes right in order to um, help the doctors know what is wrong with the patient so basically without the lab the doctor is not able to diagnose the patient and therefore unable to provide treatment for the, to the patient right right um, so we do not only it does not we don't only focus on bloods there's other samples as well that can help diagnose a patient there is sputum there is urine there is stool there are swabs that you take in different areas of the body right so there's quite it's quite vast really hair nails skin right they can be diagnostics that are made like that can be found from literally those samples uh so my company offers a two-year learnership every year every year there's an intake uh yes uh for this learnership so basically you look out for the learnership on the company's website i w i will share the where will i share it but i will share my company's website underneath so that you guys can constantly go there and um and uh, um and do like a weekly search of you know just to search around and see when the learnerships come out but i know for my company uh learnerships come around come out around uh september october ish september october ish and then now i've seen that they've recently done this thing to open for uh matriculants from like in january of the very same year that they're going to do the intake so uh it's two learnerships at my company i work for pathk right uh if you can search anywhere pathk.co.za you will find the website and you will search under careers or under learnerships i don't remember where i used to search but that's where you will find out when the learnerships are out how can you apply for it what is required for you to apply for it uh when i applied it was not during covid was not here yet so we did not i didn't do an online application i heard well, i don't know uh people do an online application in my times i did like a i had to print out the form uh, download the form print it out fill it in and then send it to cape town so the main path care is in cape town the main path care academy is in cape town so i sent it to cape town and they are the ones that are able to you see choose us according to our different regions to say okay this one stays in Gauteng, so it'll be um eligible for her to go study in pretoria or this one stays wherever in Plumfontein or whatever so they give you options if you want to study in Pretoria or in Cape Town, right? So, uh, I know my company offers two learnerships. One is for uh, phlebotomy and the other one is a medical technician. Ne? Both of them, you don't need any qualification to apply for these learnerships. You just need your matric certificate. Uh, so, for phlebotomy, um, you need a matric with minimum of, I, don't, I think it's 50% life science. 40% maths, pure maths, 50% pure maths, and obviously English. I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a standard um, subject, obviously, that is required. And then for medical technician, I know they want 50% life science, 50% physical science, 50% pure maths, and they don't take any maths left. Or medical technician so the medical technicians they work in the lab 
ne, they are the ones that test these samples. I get a we draw the samples from the patient and then we take it to the lab. So in the lab now, Kiba, the medical technicians are these ones that wear white coats that test the samples and come out with these figures that will say, okay, with, when a, a blood is of a certain figure, it means a patient has this or that. Bubble. So that's what medical technicians do. Pretty cool job, okay? It's very cool to work in the lab. Uh, and then uh, there's a third one. Uh, uh, King lab assistants, yes, LA's lab assistants. So for lab, assist uh, lab assistants, the learnership is only one year, and I think their requirements are forty percent life science, and then forty percent maths lit. Yeah, and then English. So LA is not does not really require that much. So what LA's do, um, they also are placed in the lab. They work inside the lab. And like us, we work at depots, you know, we call them offices, but we call them depots. So the medical technicians and the LAs, the lab assistants, they work inside the lab. So the LAs, Bona, they are the ones that receive the samples from us and just check if um, the correct type of specimen was taken for the correct test that was requested by a doctor. You understand? So for instance, let me make an example and say, if the doctor had requested like a COVID test and then somebody brings uh, bloods, obviously we cannot test COVID with bloods. Although you can test antibodies, but you cannot really test now if the, page, if, uh, the patient is COVID positive now or not with bloods, you see? So they check those kind of things to say, okay, no, this is the wrong sample for the wrong, uh, for the test that was requested. Please redraw or please take the correct sample before they take it to the medical technicians so they can test the samples right come walk with me walk with me please yeah? so that is what the la's do so the la ones is one year the the la uh, learnership it's only one year and then the nice thing about our company is that i think the nice thing about all these labs actually uh, the ones that offer these learnerships is that after qualifying you have a permanent spot, no matter what. You have a permanent spot in the company, right? After qualifying, you don't have to sit at home or search for a job. You definitely have a, uh, uh, um, a permanent spot in the company, right? So, according to my knowledge so far, I know there's three labs that offer the, course, the phlebotomy course. I'm not sure about the medical technician in the, the LA one. Ne? but phlebotomy i'm definitely sure who there's three labs in south africa that i'm positively sure about that offer these learnerships it is pathcare my company empath and lancet so all these three labs have different opening dates and closing dates for um the phlebotomy application process right i I know ours, I think ours is the latest one. Like I said, it's around September, October-ish. That's when you can start looking at the website, like from the beginning of September, October, November-ish. You can start looking at our website um, weekly just to see if the learnerships are out or not, right? So that you can apply. I know Lancet and Empath, it's around, I think Empath, think about my February, like I think February, March. And I think Lancet as well is around those times, March, june july ish so if you really want to get into this play on all the three websites of the three labs you will definitely get something oh well. uh if you're really hungry for this like i was now i used to go on the pathcare website every week around the times that i knew that the leadership comes out like yeah and then i applied and then i got an interview and i got it now i'm permanently employed so uh during the two years ne, you are going to get a stipend i know uh, it's not much but you can do with it come on right you're gonna get a stipend and yes and then after qualifying obviously you get a salary which is better i was able to buy uh my first car with the stipend it was not a lot but i mean if only the girl of today the girl of now like me you make plans, you make things work, ne? So I was able to do that. So yeah, 
uh, if you want to change your career or if you want to try out something new if you've always let's say wanted to work in the health department but not necessarily be a nurse or you know these hectic things because i always tell you guys not even work hard like literally most max five minutes ten minutes max with a patient i'm out uh nurses i feel like yeah it's a little bit different for them because you literally spend your whole certain hours with a patient and taking care of the patient and all of that well literally this patient is your responsibility so with us it's quite different see so yeah guys uh let me see what else am i missing yes uh so just visit the websites apply be as realistic as you can uh because in the interviews my darling they will catch you with your own lies these people are not playing i kid you not okay so even when you get the interview be confident be calm when you get the interview but oh, they're like they're gonna give you a test in my company i don't know how lancet and empath work but i know in my company they give you a test uh to see how much you know like just to test your knowledge on these things right uh, the test has, I think, it's a little bit of math, a little bit of life science, a little bit of physics, case studies here and there, just to test, you know, where you are at, right? And then the pass rate of the test is 70%. So if you don't get uh, the 70%, obviously you will not qualify. But if you get the 70%, then you will be eligible to go to the next level, which is the panel interview. And basically, panel interview, that's where you sell yourself, honey. That is where you talk about yourself. That is where you tell them show them that they they need you all right so yeah and then after that the rest will be history honestly you will see yourself starting this course and yeah i really hope that this in uh, this video was informative i really hope that whoever that wants to apply like it's so easy man to apply just like i said i get and and i hope that you get it best of luck uh yes you can forward it to as many people as you can so that people can know information out there people some people don't even know of uh of these uh, career opportunities and you don't even have to pay a single cent in return you understand so let us not uh, uh gatekeep let us inform our brothers and sisters out there yeah and one more thing it's for all genders yes let us inform our brothers and sisters out there and let us fight poverty let's get this money yeah see you in the next one